Hi, my name is Vincent and I'm from the Robotics and Biology Lab of TU Berlin. And I would like to now just very briefly present to you our latest results on the topic of acoustic tactile sensing. As a brief recap, the way our acoustic sensor works is by placing a speaker and a microphone into the air chamber of this actuator and then listening for small changes in the audio signal, which correspond to different contact states. We've previously shown the versatility of that approach, but now we're evaluating the maximum achievable detail that the sensor can measure. For that, we use this nifty little braille display that has 16 cells with eight pins each. Each pin can be controlled separately, has a height of roughly 0.7 millimeters and a force of just below 0.2 newton. The spacing of the pins is 2.5 millimeters. We place the fingers on top of the braille display and use the Raspberry Pi to control the pins. This way we can easily record a whole lot of different audio samples. All right, so much for the setup and background. Let's come to the exciting part of this presentation, our latest results. We tested the sensor's ability to differentiate between all the letters of the alphabet in braille, just like the animation shown here. And yes, this is obviously not how a human would use a braille display. And I promise that we're actively working on sensing a single cell at a time. But for now, we wanted to know if the acoustic sensor would be able to differentiate between those different patterns at all. And let me tell you, it absolutely can. This is a confusion matrix with the true characters on the bottom and the measured characters on the left and the very high values on the diagonal show that the sensor is very capable of recognizing each individual letter with an average classification rate of 96%. I think this is super impressive, if I may say so myself. That means that there's enough variation in the acoustic signal caused from these different contact patterns for our acoustic sensor to learn to differentiate these from the sound alone. We've also evaluated some other patterns with the Braille display. For the X and Y position separately, we achieved basically the exact right, exactly right measurement. We also confirmed that the sensor is able to differentiate between one, two, and three simultaneous contacts. And with, with these two by two and one by one taxel evaluations, we looked into the 2D resolution of the sensor. And while I marked the one by one taxel result in the bottom here with a yellow mark, I want to point out that these average, that these are average classification rates which means that in three out of four cases, we get the exactly correct X or Y position uh, of the contact of this whole grid of 32 by four pins. Um, and this is with a pin that has a height of less than a millimeter and the force equivalent of 17 grams. Again, I think this is super cool. All right. So that's it from my side with this very brief update. We'll be working on fine tuning the results to maybe get an even better prediction or to be able to predict a full contact map. In the meantime, please check out our previous publications on acoustic sensing or give it a try, our, give it a try yourself with the acoustic sensing starter kit on our website. Thanks for watching and bye.